Hi, I'm Dr. Carolyn Benedictus, and I am an associate professor of radiology at UMass Chan Medical School, where I also serve as the program director for the Diagnostic Radiology Residency Program, as well as the vice chair for education there. And I'm going to talk um, about how to use social media to effectively recruit medical students. So one of the questions I was asked is, how can radiology programs best leverage social media to attract medical students to the specialty? Well, I think the best way is to showcase your residents in their day-to-day -day life and show how fun and awesome what they do is. Show how intellectually stimulating it is, show the cool procedures they do, show the cool technology that they're exposed to, as well as show some of the fun things they do together as residents. And I think that's a really great way to leverage social media. In addition, um, how can we use social media to best feature the program and depict the specialty? Well, I think we really need to show the, the extensive breadth and depth of what we do as radiologists. We need to show how we interact with patients, how we do cool procedures, how we're integral to patient care. And we also need to show a wide variety of people in the specialty doing it. We need to make sure that our social media depicts women, depicts people who are underrepresented in medicine, and just depicts as many facets of the people and the things we do in radiology. Another question was, are there any other types of virtual components that radiology programs should consider using to reach out to students? Well, I definitely think that all forms of social media are really useful to show again what radiology is, what, who we are, and what we do. Um, I think TikTok is a really cool and fun way to start. I know there's a few radiologists out there who have been reaching out on TikTok and using some of the cool TikTok platforms to kind of showcase not only what radiologists do, but also concepts in radiology. So I think we should keep doing that. I also think that social media can be a way to spread experiences that are available for medical students. For example, we're doing at UMass a summer lecture series in conjunction with multiple other universities. Um, to kind of get first and second years to see what radiology is, and we're using social media to advertise this lecture series. So I think that's another really good way we can leverage social media. Another question was, use, how can we use social media and virtual components to best reach underrepresented students in radiology who might not have thought about radiology? Well, first of all, I think they need to be represented in our social media. So we need to make sure that women are represented in our social media, that those who are underrepresented in medicine are represented in our social media. A lot of places have actually done virtual electives for those who are underrepresented in radiology. And it's a great way to reach out to everybody um, without having the inconvenience and cost of traveling to a place to do a virtual, to do a regular internship. So there's been some virtual internships um, for those who are underrepresented in radiology that people have done that I think have been incredibly effective. Um, I know even the peer program through ACR is done now mostly on a virtual basis. So I think we can definitely use virtual platforms to reach out to those who are underrepresented in medicine. And then the last question I was asked to address is will interviews remain virtual, be hybrid, or be in person? And it does seem like that the radiology uh, community has agreed that virtual interviews are more equitable um, and that they work really well. So I think for the foreseeable future, and definitely we know for this next upcoming interview season, we will remain virtual. And I definitely see virtual being probably the way to go in the future, given that increase in equity, the convenience um, factor as well. So thank you so much for joining me today on this vlog. Um, and I'm happy to have had the opportunity to do this. Thank you.